Welcome to Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. I am your host, Joe Perry, here with my co-host, Jen Isgro and Tom Kakoza. How are you doing tonight, Jen? I am doing so good. I'm super hyped. Yesterday was crazy, um, and it just lasted for hours. So much excitement, so much new stuff to talk about. Cannot wait to get into it. Was there new stuff to talk about? Yeah, just, just like a little bit of stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Tom. <laughs> Did, yeah, I oversell, did I oversell it? I oversold it. I think you there's oversold just, it. There's just stuff to talk about. I, I'm wildly under, underprepared for tonight's episode, Joe. No, uh, this is uh, this is this is gonna be a tremendous show. It's gonna be a tremendous week. I think it's really nice of the show of of, of Rafe and 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 of San Diego Comic Con of of scheduling all this on our special 150th anniversary episode. Uh, it's That's very kind right. of them. It's not our yeah. 150th anniversary. No, no. Oh, weekly, weekly anniversary. All right. If you, well, if you week, skip week anniversary, week anniversary, week anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> and we have somebody very special here to to uh, join us and talk about this amazing news. This will be his fourth Wheel of Time live stream in a row over the last four days. None other than the innkeeper of the Dusty Wheel himself, Matt Hatch. Look, there was a break. <laughs> There was a break between like Sunday and Wednesday, so I got like uh, Monday, Tuesday off. <laughs> I mean, if there's ever a time to do four live streams in the under like in five or six days, this was the week, right? I mean, it was, know. and you you were you were on Twatcast on Tuesday, so it was Tuesday, Wednesday, oh, Thursday. Yeah. Oh, I did a Sunday show. I was on Twatcast <laughs> Tuesday. I did a live stream once. Oh my gosh, it is five of the six days. <laughs> five and six days. <laughs> And and I, I, yeah, that's funny. So I, I have to share this with everybody watching and then listening too, because we're, we're going to release this as our podcast episode, but we weren't going to do a live stream. We were going to do a normal podcast episode. <laughs> and then someone was like, um, you know, why don't you guys do a live stream about this? You know, this is like, you know, a big thing. Go, you, should, you know, this way everyone can go on YouTube and watch. Yeah. And I, and I said, are, a smart person. Are, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, are you just saying that because you want to come on and talk about Wheel of Time some more? <laughs> Look, like I got to do the live stream the other day, but you know, it just came out. We didn't get like time to, you know, sit with what we had. So I haven't had time to really talk about it after the fact, like 24 hours later. Yeah, yeah. this is good, right? Because this is like you've had time to sleep on it, mull yeah. it over. I've had time to take on other people's theories as my own. Yeah. <laughs> yes. One hundred percent. I'm taking on theories as my own. And if anybody's here in chat and I took your theory, just you know, call me out on it. I don't I have no problem with that. Yeah. Um, drink your milkshake. <laughs> so a lot happened yesterday, right? There was the Comic Con panel, there was talk, there was uh Wheel of Time Origins announcements and videos, there was behind the scenes for uh for season two. They announced Season three has been confirmed, but before yeah. we get to all of that, there's one short thing I wanted to talk about. Because <laughs> how, before... how worth the show is? Oh no, that's not. Oh right. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, um, Lotseries.com put out an article earlier this week identifying a new cast member, Bentley Kalu. Um, mm -hmm. He's going to be in a reoccurring role. It's unknown. Nobody knows who he's going to play yet. Um, if you don't know who Bentley Kalu is, he was in the Halo TV show that recently came out this year. Um, he was one of the Spartans, Vanek. Um, he was that big, you know, deep-voiced guy um, who also had actually P Pat and Fane, Johan Meyer was actually in an episode or two of that show as well. Hmm. Um, so he's been announced to be on the show. We don't know who he's going to be. Um, any thoughts from the three of you uh, I guess I'll start with you, Tom. Any thoughts of who you think Bentley Kalu is? Just a quick thing I want to say about him. He's six foot four. And he's got, I mentioned before, he's got a deep voice as well. So, hey, Joe, do you have a picture of him so people can? Like, oh, sure. Let me pull it. I might as well just pull out the old, uh, the old Watt series article. And uh, this is share. season two. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Here nice. we go. Okay. Bentley um... Kalu. Um, yeah. So I guess, um, my first, my first thought, uh, you know, just hearing his, you know, the deepness of his voice or whatever, I was like, oh, maybe he'll be another Ogier. Maybe he'll be, uh, mm. uh, 
you know, Elder Haman or something like that. But um, when you look at like his skill set and how action oriented it is, I think he's probably going to be an IEO. And I think they might be changing the fact that all the IEO look like they're Irish. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think that's where he is because he's, he's got a lot of, right, he's got a lot of action y uh, skill pieces that really don't fit in with like a wise, lone, learned ogier. So, what do you have a specific IEL? Do you th- think that he's going to be playing? It says a recurring role, so it's got to be yeah, somebody I'll, who's. I'll go. I'll say because I think he's a, like, this picture makes him look a little younger than he than he is, right? No, he's, uh, he, he's this. He's about this old, I think. I don't think he looks much older. How old is he? <laughs> He's about this old. This old. <laughs> he's about so this old. old. Yeah, he's so old. That's how, how old, old he is. He? Okay, I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was. Uh, I think he's in his forties. I think he's yeah, in his forties. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. this picture makes him look much younger than that. I'm gonna go Ruark. Okay, Ruark. Jen. Oh, Jen. Oh. What about I you? I don't know. His height makes me think I yell too. I'm trying to think of something else just to be interesting, but. <laughs> I can't There's right only now. tall people among the AEL. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. It could be like, what does he have? He's like a fighter. He has fighting what? experience, or oh yeah, in the article they do mention he has some experience uh, fencing, boxing, and wrestling. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll go AEL too then. Okay. Do you have a specific AEL, Jen? Oh. Cooladin. Cooladin. <laughs> I can't think of any other names. <laughs> that's just that's just for right Brendan. Now. That's yeah. All right, Matt. It's your it's your turn, Matt. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that maybe he is someone they meet down in Tier. Like they go to Tier, uh, you know, we get. I mean, you could go kind of the High Lord route, or you could maybe even go like a. You know, it kind of depends on what they give us if they give us much. Of anything from tier, so yeah, I'm going. I'm going down to tier. Some lord of tier, like, uh, yeah, some kind of uh, yeah. Okay, I, I'm on the I'm on the same boat as Tom. I do think it's going to be Ruark, but I think other people had mentioned interesting. I think Tom, it might have been you who's. I don't know if it was, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you did you mention Elder Haman at one point? Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did, I did earlier, uh, and I did at the beginning of this. Uh, conversation as well. That was my first know. instinct. I was busy. I was too busy put, accidentally putting up a poll of nothing. So sorry. I, missed that <laughs> I just had another thought. I just had another thought. What? Um, what if he's a warder? Oh, like, yeah. I was going to say Tomas. I know he's not old enough to be Tomas, but. Well, they don't have. They can change the edge of the waters easily. That's yeah. not really. Maybe important. he's a, a warder. I like hmm. it. Ooh, I think okay. I would pick warder. I think I would want to lean warder now. Now you're going to switch or, it from. Yeah. Who's Swan's warder? Alric? Yeah, maybe he's Alric. I'm uh, I'm stealing this idea. That was my idea. Warder. <laughs> okay, we're changing that to warder. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put up the poll right now, and we'll see what goes on with that poll. All right. Oh, now we're getting a poll, finally. Okay. Yeah. I guess I typed, I guess I hit I hit, I hit enter before I put anything there. And it, yeah. it was a very interesting poll. It was uh, It was an interesting poll. So I, pull, I pulled out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So, moving along to what we're all really here for is what's that, you know, The excitement <laughs> that is the behind the scenes footage from season two that we got. The behind the scenes footage that was, I think, it single in literally 40 seconds or whatever it is, a minute and five seconds, although like 15 of that is just a black screen and says the Wheel of Time <laughs> logo or something like that. <laughs> literally rejuvenated my spirit of the Wheel of Time because it was getting. We were literally having the conversation like a day or the day before about like, guys, we got to come up with some topics for the next like couple of months to, of things to talk about, you know, on not the show. Anymore. And then, no, not anymore. Cause we can talk about this for a couple of months, right? That's people just want to hear us <laughs> dissecting the same 40 seconds or 45 seconds of video <laughs> footage. Um, I guess I'll, I'll play it really quick just for the people who are actually watching and I'll cut this out for those yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. Not for us. Not for, not, not for you. So let me uh, let's bring this up here and let's do a quick watch of it. I 
can't hear anything. Okay. Yeah, if we can't hear anything, can they hear something? I don't know. <laughs> you guys can't hear anything? No. <laughs> no. I can hear. Can everyone else hear it? <laughs> we'll find out shortly. And no one's saying there's no sound, so I think it's just us. No, they can't hear it. Oh, now they are. So. <laughs> That's good. It helps us really absorb the imagery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right. <laughs> let it play. <laughs> oh, oh. I heard it for a second. <laughs> Who is that? Oh man, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta get my notes out. All right, that's weird. I don't know why you couldn't hear anything. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I guess it's the way I shared it. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to hear the music. You just really needed to see it really quick. So, <laughs> so should we just? Oh my God, do we go frame? Where do we start? I, I mean, know where we. I know where we start. I know exactly where we start. Right here. Um, no. 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 No, because I mean, like, we can start here, but I don't think we really have we really dissected why Rand has blood all over him. You want no. to go in order? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, no, we don't. Go right to it. <laughs> there we go. So we're at about fifty seconds. Fifty seconds into the into the trailer or the 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 footage for those of you listening. We've got Rand, which. He appears to be in a giant baby's crib. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I thought. But okay. he's, in a, he's in a big crib. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, I think he's on I, like the landing of a staircase, maybe? No. Yeah, I like no, that he was, on a ship. he was on a ship. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's yeah, in a crib. Yeah. He's in a crib. Um, <laughs> no, the but, ship, the, I think the ship's a great idea. Oh, I think he's, pull back. Next to him. he's got a is pillow. He on, is he on a ship or is he not on a ship? Pull that. Come on. Make it happen, Joe. I got to end the other poll. Hold on. <laughs> Let's end the other poll. Let's get see the, the results. results. Okay. He's got the results. Woo! 47% said water, the, the last minute entry. 30% said Ruark, Elderhaman, and Kuladin. Oh, came in with 5%. In. He got 5%. All right. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good poll, I, I'd have to say. Um, do you want me to ask what people think he's on? Yeah, yeah, okay. totally. I think we get some, well. I mean, it's clear that he's like sitting. There's like, why would you have a, a like a seat back to you? But it also seems like he's sitting on like a like his legs are up on something. Like it's yeah, not like look, a chair where there's. He like looks like he's on the floor. There. Yes, it looks like he's yeah, sitting on so. the floor. Like this whole image, really, I think it, it, it's fascinating to me because like he's almost lotus positioned. He seems to be very pensive. He also has blood all over his chest, right? So, we have any other ideas between besides a crib and a ship? <laughs> uh, I mean, an inn, obviously. Yeah, I, I thought it was on like a stair, like a landing, a staircase. Yeah. It, behind okay. him to the right, right, the part that's lit, is that haze and smoke? Is that a curtain? Right, that's, really, yeah, that that's looks like set. set. Is that yeah. set? Yeah, yeah, yeah the thing right. up top is set piece. Yeah, because look, there's like poles like or something up yeah. there as well on the top right. So you think um, that that part's not going to be in the frame at all? Mm -hmm. No, no. Um, and who knows? This might not even be a scene from the show. This is this could be Yosha between takes. <laughs> this is gonna be the next deleted scene that we're all like, "Where's this scene?" And they're like, "Yeah." And then Rafe will release it like in two, three years or something. You know? <laughs> it, so, so is it my first thought when I saw this? Is this the is this after Falma? Is this Rand Ooh. has the wound, and this is like him in the tent, so to speak, and he's going to get visited by your your crush, Matt. <laughs> my crush? What? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the one that the, my crush that they didn't release during uh, the uh, all of the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, this would is that a is that a Rand in love with Landfear gaze right there? I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Anyone else have thoughts on wh what this could be? What scene this is? is it sending something... you an image that's a little bit more like uh, bright. Okay, good. I, I feel like um oh sorry. Go ahead. Tom. No, go ahead. Yeah. no, um sorry, I just saw something that 
I thought it was I thought it was a real comment, but it wasn't. It was just Brendan. So um, I, I think <laughs> where did, where did this miss our, one of our? Uh... <laughs> um, whoa! Is this what Tom? This is what you sent me, Matt. Um, what, what did I send you? <laughs> oh yeah. So the one above it is another shot that we should take a look at. Oh, okay, but, uh, this is a different yeah, shot. Okay, hold on. on. Yeah, I, I think the clothes here are really interesting to me. And I think that this is not to me. This is a later part of the season, right? These are not clothes that I think uh, Rand at the end of uh, season one will have access to. Uh, so yeah, I think this is close to the end. This to me, this is a uh, he has just killed somebody kind of like, and he's sitting with that 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 weight. Did he did he there. just kill High Lord Torok? Yeah, maybe. Would they give us, that'd be so cool to find out they gave us like the final the final shot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Is... You can you can uh, did you get that version of mine or the the or yeah. a little bit brighter? Here we go. No, that's oh, the same. No, the Hold on. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> is. <laughs> you keep showing it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so like, let's move to that image. I uh, I thought I saved it, but I guess the I didn't. Second image I sent you. All right. Secret image. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, it just had to refresh my screen. Uh, yeah, that's like definitely blood right there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it but, his blood or somebody else's? It's all over. It's on his skin. But yeah. it doesn't look like it's on the top of his shirt too, right there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, it's right. He. It's all over, like the. Yeah. Uh, like the right side, like by his buttons and stuff on the right, his right side, there's definitely, it's definitely wet. Yeah, was he like splattered with blood from the right. outside versus actually being injury itself? But it's yeah. on his chest. Oh, maybe. So you, yeah, think yeah. It, you think it just soaks through? I, I think. No, maybe it, his shirt's open. You think he was fighting with his shirt? He was like walking around. Of course around he with was. This is a TV the... show, Joe. That's what we <laughs> want to see. They're not going to keep his shirt buttoned up. I don't know. It's hot out there, man. Could it? Could it He's be... probably fighting in the water, and his shirt was getting wet. Here's another thought: Could right? We know Rafe said that they're combining bits of books one through three. Is this Rand after he killed all the dark friends in the Dragon Reborn? Yeah. So that's the first thing that that's the first thing that hit me when I saw this image was: Is this kind of him run this. travel? You like? Is it? Is this part of him being out by himself? And um, but it's weird to think that because how is Rand defending himself? At this point in the game, <laughs> like right. he hasn't he hasn't had like a lot of training weapons wise, and neither has he had a lot of training like channeling wise. So, like unless you like accidentally pop someone's head off here or something with the one power, like he would have had to have done this with a weapon. And I don't know. So I I want to believe it's that, but but he left Moraine and Land behind. It would be this would have to be closer to the end if it was. Well, anyway, I mean. I guess you can get a lucky stab in. Um, <laughs> lucky stab. So I ended the poll, and fifty-three percent of people think it was a ship. Only t- no, ah, twenty-five yeah. staircase. Only twenty-one percent thought it was a crib. I'm a little upset about that. So <laughs> <laughs> I see Bane and Chad said, "Why would it be on his neck?" And did his opponent have blood on their hands and then try to strangle him? Oh. Well, maybe yeah and to me it really does look like something when a gusher like and maybe maybe he kills somebody and he tries to stop it but his hands aren't bloody right and someone points out there's no sword in this shot so if he got into a sword fight would he drop the sword and then go sit down and think about it like so it's a little Gross. bit guys so- like we said this could, this doesn't have to be like a like it does look like it's, he's sitting he in a bed. He could just be sitting and people. hanging out. Like this doesn't necessarily. It isn't necessarily <laughs> hanging a shot. out with like blood all over it. No, I mean like <laughs> between takes. This is like, this could be a picture a of Yosha, not a picture of Rand. I know you're uh, right, like yeah, trying yeah. to look That's cool. Awesome. That's what I'm camera. saying. It could be him between yeah. takes, like so getting into character. Oh. Like, the yeah. Beth asked if this was the same shirt he's wearing. Uh, this this blue one is different from all the other shirts that we see him wearing. Looks like Indiana Jones. Well, I mean, it's kind of ruined. Like. Yeah, this is he's got another shirt on under this though. And this one That's this a white shot, shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So in the shot with Ran with the holding the torch, 
he's got a white shirt on and another shirt over it. I mean, that shirt over it could be a blue shirt, but it's you really can't tell from the pictures there. So, yeah, unable I mean, to tell. No, I think it's uh, yeah, because if you go look at the one, let's see, I'm pretty sure you get a good shot of it, but you'd have to go pull images off of that thread that I threw in there today. But on the other one, I don't think they're the same shirt. No, I no. don't. I don't think so. Too. I think the other one's more of a. Uh, Someone brought this up, right? If because, well, we, we're not there yet on that one. Go ahead, let's go <laughs> there. Are let's we going go there? there? Let's go there. Yeah. So yeah, this one with knowing now that lands behind him and likely mm -hmm. Moraine, we can kind of uh, pull everybody if we think that that's Moraine with him. Um, you can go if you go. That link I sent you, Joe, has like a bunch of like images that have made it easier to see who's behind people on this one, but. Um, I think that this is uh, it's obviously Lan. Yeah, and that's I yeah, think that's that person. Question. I bet you from I didn't do a height analysis. I was going to do that, like <laughs> like a height <laughs> to just verify it. It, but, it is. It is. But I think that's probably Moraine. Um, I agree with you. It makes sense. Lan's kind of smiling there too. Look at that. He's got a grin on. And then we've got the per so the way you were able to bring this out was amazing because when if you look at it on the video, and I'm gonna try to um, right this looks like this the one all right so I'm looking at the picture of Rand with the torch yeah. there's somebody behind him with the torch which we think which pretty sure is Lan almost 100 percent but there's somebody off to Rand to the left side of the screen and. In this image right now, it looks like a woman wearing like a dress, like a slender yeah, woman wearing yeah, a dress. Yeah, right. But then when you pulled out the, the the clips off of Twitter, it totally changes that. And it's definitely a man and he's got his hand a sword on his back or something. Like a sword, yeah. Yeah. And he's kind of I don't know. I don't know who it is. Probably nobody. But where are they that they have these torches out? It's so bright and it's totally destroying the color. Yeah, why would they be? And, and like I pointed out, that he's wearing kind of nicer clothing here. Um, right. Like it's more ornate that jacket is. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I, I feel, I feel much more confident about this now. Which is that this is them going to Lord Barthain's manor. Oh, uh, so um, all right. So like to burn it down. Right? Like why are they carrying? Yeah, well, it's, no, well, it's nighttime and it's foggy. Oh, All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this now because I don't I don't know if anybody brought this up, but I realized it on like my you know hundredth rewatch today. That shot. Okay, hold on, let me go back because I think there's another one. No, that might be the first one. Okay, hold on, sorry, people. I want to get to it. It's this one, right? So at about 31 seconds, we see like an explosion with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this is this illuminators? Fireworks going off? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you have Kyrie in, right? You have Forgate. Uh, you know, it could be that the blood is from the explosion that Rand was near. Uh, although that thing he's sitting on does look like an ornate kind of bed. So it's kind of hard to, I mean, it could be that he's already made it to Kyrie in, in that crib. photo. I, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I was wondering if um, the explosions were Egwene channeling. Ooh, well. This yeah. definitely looks like the four gate. Well, at least that from a, I know this could be kind of a shanty town without outside of any city, um, yeah. but it looks similar to that one that we've seen from the Barandoff uh, studios. And if you look at that other image, uh, Joe, it was like the third or fourth tweet I did about like the location of where it was happening. You can tell that uh, at least that part is the inner city side of that small town. So I have a hard time thinking that this is like Sean Chan related or anything up in Falma, but that's me. Yeah. yeah. I, I just really, you know, thought about it today when I was watching it, it took me a few watches and then there's another shot later on of, of explosions too. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can get to it. I love the thought right about this being explosions yes, and, and a Ludra. Oh. Um, Here. Right all right, so at about 48 seconds, for those of you listening, there's another shot of explosions. It looks to be in the same town, like the buildings, you know, the shacks or whatever look very similar. You know, what else would this be, right? Explosions, it has to be the channeling or 
fireworks, right? There's no other explosions in the wheel yeah. of time that we, that, or no other thing that would cause explosions. Yeah, I love the idea that that's um, that some that is the yeah. Uh, maybe Eludra is in the show. That'd be awesome. Oh my god! If Eludra's in the show, I'm gonna be <laughs> so happy. I love Eludra. What if uh, is, it, is it Zalia? Is that the actor's name? Uh, yeah, I think so. Wonder Zelia. Zelia. Oh, Zelia. Yeah, Zelia is playing Eludra. I don't think we had a you know a casting name for who they're playing. But. No, no, we, we don't, don't know. have the work. And there was there was discussion about like possibly it being Galad, which I thought was an interesting choice. Um, but that'd be cool if Zelia was Eludra. I don't care who's Eludra. If Eludra's going to be in it, I'm very happy about it. <laughs> I think it. we should pull that. Do people want Eludra? Do, do people think that, the, oh, yeah, there you go. You, you were ahead of me, Joe, on that one. That's awesome. <laughs> I've, got, I've got Is This the Work of Illuminators up there as the poll. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I was kind of curious if people would kind of agree with that. Now, people believe, by the way, at the spot at 48, I don't know if you saw this today, that that's Rafe on that. So I'm trying to do... Oh, this in. guy in the center? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it kind I'm of, it kind of could be, like, I guess. I know. I know. That's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, get us a like, zoom in. To see if you want me to... You want, let's, hold on a sec. I'll take a snapshot of it. This is the reason why I was using this. Uh, VLC because I could just pull in snapshots real quick. I might have like, have, do you have the high resolution version of that? Uh, I of the clip. It, it's on uh, ing, but I couldn't I, download IGN, yeah. IGN. Sorry, I couldn't download it though, which was I was very upset about. Okay, well I I have a I high know, resolution guys. shot of it here, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I think I, I think, think it's so. because the spark behind his head makes it look like he's wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that give people that Rafe impression. Well, I mean, he could be glassless. Uh, you know, this could be Rafe. It could be. It could be. But I'm. Uh, I'm trying to get us here. Let me. Okay. I don't know if this is going to help anymore, but I'll send you one here, Joe. Okay. Um. So my other thought, the other thought I had is this is um, the Sean Chen like taking over a farm and the you know a rating tome and head. Yeah, it could be. This could be the work of Demonic. I mean, I totally, yeah. I'm all in on this being um, the Illuminators and Eludra, and them using an explosion to, you know, get away from somebody or something. Oh man! I, doesn't his they, hand? Doesn't his left hand look really tiny? And his right <laughs> hand looks super big. This is yeah, an extra this finger on it. Really tiny. It's <laughs> um, got, got a tiny hand. Um, so, okay. So what if, because I have to say, like, the torches in the foggy night, like, it doesn't, that doesn't work for me. It's like a total solution. But if they set this explosion to get into Barthanus's manor to get to a waygate that's there, something like that, mm -hmm. and, like, they need the torches because they're about to go underground or, like, into a sub-basement or whatever, like, that, that works for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like so look, than, maybe, yeah, maybe they find them and then they use that later, though. Um, right, like this, like this. <sighs> no, <laughs> that's not him. <laughs> that's not Rafe. Now it that's looks like Rafe. <laughs> I like that Jason Enberg. Like you guys are totally reaching on all these predictions. Yeah, that's yeah. the idea. <laughs> what, <laughs> why do you think we're doing this? I think that that could be Rafe, man. That's I'm, not I'm, Rafe. I'm now I'm fifty fifty on this one now. I, I don't know. Like, if you, if you were Rafe, you were gonna put a hat on because a hat is going to make it, and you're gonna like make sure you kind of tip your head away from any camera. You're not gonna want a straight-on view, and so he's running away with his head down, kind of neck in, with the hat on. I don't know, man. This is. I think you should pull your audience. We should find out. Oh, wait, let me let me end the other poll first. Hold on. <laughs> I got it's. I got to keep on top of these polls here. Who's with me? Who's with me? Totally right, not Rafe. So so 58 yeah. percent of the 58 percent of the audience say that the explosions are the work of the illuminators so <laughs> well your audience is already lame they're already, they're already saying not <laughs> so um i will say rafe if you're watching this this man is oh no i don't want to say anything i'm sorry 
<laughs> you want to ruin the poll? Are you trying to don't spray No, I don't want to ruin the poll. I thought I was going to say something complimentary, but I realize it's not. It's it's probably a backhanded compliment, so I'm not going to say anything. Only fifteen percent of us are right. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. I want to jump to something else. Right. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Thirty. Okay, we're not far from this. I want to jump to thirty-nine seconds. Not Steve either. <laughs> oh, I want. Oh, let's talk about this. Actually, forty seconds. We'll go to forty seconds. This is one of the most intriguing shots to me. And then there's a later shot. So we're at forty seconds. There's a hooded uh, figure walking in the forest. Um, what appears to be, and on the left here. I'm pretty sure, at least I'm convinced that this is some sort of grave, right? This is like a headstone. And if you notice, there's like other stones lying on the ground and then like some sort of cloth or something like a, almost like a, a funeral mound or something like that. I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Tom, did you have any ideas of what this could be, who this could be in this, in this shot? No, I didn't. Honestly, I, when I see the, somebody walking around in the dark with a head on in this, I think it's a fade. Uh, I think it's a murder draw. I don't know why a murder draw would be going to somebody's grave to remember them. So, um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, that's what I thought it was. I have to say, I, I didn't think it was any other character. Just as clear as a fade. And it, Jen, do you think this is a fade? I I don't. I don't think it looks. It's like tall enough to be a fade. But I have no idea who it might be. Um, visiting a grave. That's what this looks like to me. I mean, I mean, otherwise, do you have any other explanations of what this could be over here on the left side? A portal stone. Yeah. Oh. A portal stone. No, I don't know. Is that a? Is it? So it's a. It's a merge roll going to use a portal stone. Is that what's going on? It's a forsaken. It's a forsaken. It's a forsaken. If that's a portal stone, that's a forsaken. Oh, which forsaken is this? Every forsaken's lamp here. (laughs) <laughs> don't you don't you hope like landfear is in this video like three times he has yeah, to figure out where right, she is true. i do hope you um, go back and be like oh yeah <laughs> that's who it is I, I, I did i know this was a not the right answer but i i wondered if it was rand um but that didn't ooh. make much sense all right, so Joe, I'm going to ask for your 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 enhanced function again. Uh, the lower part of the hood is that hair sticking out? For the back? No, the front. The front? See that there's a there's a protuberance. Yeah, protuberance. <laughs> a tr- protuberance. Protu- protuberance. Protuberance. Uh, yeah, the front of the, the front of that is a little bit out from the top of the hood. It's like Darth Vader, kind of a little bit. Okay, hold on. I had so, to. I don't know if it's hair. So far, seventeen percent of us are right on the poll. Know, what the See that? On, on the rave poll? Yeah. It's like a monkey, actually. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a Planet monkey. of the Apes. So let's just <laughs> going over right. Look at this. So we've got like a headstone, and then we've got other stones around in kind of like a circular fashion, and some sort of mound over here that could be. Yeah, what if that's a broken? It could be a broken portal stone. Oh, no, I guess you can't really. I think it can be worn down. So I, yeah, I guess you can. So um, I don't see any markings yeah. on this portal stone. I know I, I sent you another one to try to highlight that. It doesn't really give us. They're gonna put them in any markings post. that I can see. Yeah, I. It, yeah, it doesn't. You could you could put them in post. That's true. All right. I mean, or you could just make a cool portal carve a cool portal stone. That's something easy to do, <laughs> that's right? My, that's my desperate desire for portal stones. Even though I'm like afraid they're doing that, like Waygate or. Stone gate or so, so rock, whatever. If, if, we, if we get to the questions, right, and we're, we're running, we're running really good on time for this, but whatever, there's a question <laughs> I, I want to make reference to because um, he, he talks about how uh, this, this season will be covering s- stuff from books one, two, and three. But he says there's some stuff that will be covered in later seasons. Yes. Do you think the what what struck me what what I thought of first of since season three of this series he says we're going to work to adapt the Shadow Rising is do Portal Stone worlds not show up until later in the series for some reason 
even though why they don't there's really... no reason for them i feel like you can cut the portal stone worlds out yes. and not narratively lose anything yeah i agree i don't think there's going to be portal stones just because but i i don't know like what else from the first three books like i don't know what he's cutting out of this season that needs to come later on calendar Ooh, <laughs> maybe you know I have a hard on for Calendar, so more games. <laughs> no, oh. you wouldn't put her later. You'd have her early and then just get rid of her. You wouldn't bring her in later, I don't think. I mean, Portal Stones to me. What are you going to use Waygates the entire time? That's stupid. They're not going to go back to that place. Let's be honest. I'm like, travel. Gonna, but I mean, we have Waygates. We have two yeah. Waygates in this season that we've seen. That we've what seen. Mean, like, what I mean is, that, do you think they're actually going to use them as the ways each time? Like they how, might not have, no. have loyal there, and so are they going to turn those into portal stones? No, I don't. I, I, I've been saying actually... from the jump that those are going to be portal stones and waygates from, from like yeah, before we even saw them. Like that's, what, that's what it seems like we'll probably get is because I can't imagine we're seeing a lot of these things. It's like why are they giving us more of this? Because I just don't see us going back to the ways that often in this show. Maybe we will. No, but they could just say we go into the waygate and then they come out the other side. Yeah. We don't have to see the travel in the way in the ways because we've Wait, seen it already. We can't have the we can't have the black wind as therapists anymore. The <laughs> black, <laughs> black therapist is not going to come. Uh, that's my favorite. <laughs> black, said that. I was like, black wind therapy. Yeah. Oh weird. my god, that's a that's a Tarvalon after <clears throat> that's a Tarvalon after dark commercial right there. <laughs> if, if, if they're watching black wind therapy. <laughs> All right, we're closing the poll. 83% of people think it's not Rafe. Oh, good. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. That's okay. Cowards. Um, so that's how many people didn't think that there was somebody standing next to Loyal either. Sometimes <laughs> people are but, wrong. Sometimes they, people are but wrong. They, but they were right, Matt, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody else. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's let's run back. Um, I want to run back towards the beginning because we, we totally skipped the beginning, right? One of the first shots we get is we got Ayula, and I don't know if anybody can dispute that. And two other what appear to be maidens as a spear. We've got the clapboard. It looks like it's episode seven from the clapboard. Uh, I think it says April 30th, 2022, which tracks with filming in, in uh, Morocco. Uh, Sana Hamri listed as the director, Maja Samoja as the uh, cinematographer, which all makes sense given all of the information Watt series has given us in Geeky Ari. Um, these two other Maidens of the Spear, Bane and Chiad? I mean, it's got to be, right? Right. If it wasn't Bane and Chiad, that would just be stupid. Why would you not call them that? Even if they don't have like <laughs> Bane and Chiad storyline, why would you give them other names? Like, it's not right. Yeah. Any chance any of the these... Uh, un, unconfirmed actress uh, are playing Bane and Chia, like maybe Alea Costa or Azealia Mendez. Possible. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Anything's possible. All right. I'm glad we settled that then. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> anyone want to? Anyone want to do a butt comparison on that actress? So no. you match her. I don't that, know. Is, <laughs> that is. Uh, that's threefold talks kind of show. Like, you know. There you go. That's right. Uh, let's see. I want to move up to uh, smoke, smoke, wheel. Wheel. All right, he here we go. Thir 18 seconds. We've got our white cloak with the white hair. Somebody we have definitely not seen in season one. We've got new costuming. I love that, I love that as boars, man. Boars. I love the idea that yes. that's boars. I yes. heard Jackham Carradine as a yes. possibility, and yeah. I. I like that idea. Notice what he has on his back, though. Yeah, the axe. Right? He's got yeah. an axe on his back. Odd choice for a white cloak, especially a questioner, I would say, right? Uh, I don't know. It's a good yeah, intimidating I mean... weapon. He's got a much more prominent sunburst on his front, too. What do we? Is, the question is, do we believe that's the same person that's uh, swinging the axe at uh, Avienda? Yeah, so yes. uh, that's a really good question. And I've been looking at these two shots and it does it's hard to say because you know the first one he's got is his face covered. But this guy 
All right, so we're back at 49 seconds, and there's the White Cloak fighting uh, a maiden. It looks like it's Avienda, and he's swinging an axe, so it's very, very uh, coincidental. But this guy's face does not look like the other guy's face. Uh, I, I think it's the same character. I don't think it's the, necessarily the same person. Stunt, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, Maybe this, it's a, this is a, this is a stunt fighter, yeah. Oh, no, stunt fighter. Yeah, that would make sense. It does seem like he has kind of like that gray-white hair. On. He does yeah, have the hair, like the the loose, you know, flowing hair. But it's face wise, it doesn't look like him. This guy looks much younger. I'm trying to get a good shot of him, but that's it's not really. Yeah, my my thought was that this was just these were the stunt people doing stunt fighting. That these, but that's the same person. So then, a question then, right? We have so it looks like a white cloak fighting. Avienda, right? Is this the scene that we or the or the 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 scene before that leaked script audition script that we yeah I think with? I think it has to be right like yeah. if we take the leaked audition script and they give us this shot I mean how can this not be if if you notice behind them there's like the hanging cages that we saw yeah. the Aiel in on the first in the first season oh yeah good call Jen um. So then, if this is car- so, then does Perrin kill this person? This person just gets away and lives to fight another day. Because if it's Carradin or some people said Buyer, this would be a good, you know, if Perrin does kill a White Cloak or two, and this is Buyer and he gets away, this yeah. would kind of th- right roll right back into that storyline of Buyer hating Perrin and mm-hmm. his yeah. character. Yeah, and by the way, that that his armor, this arm, the, the armor of this person does look different than the other guy. Not that they can't wear different armor at different times, but um, yeah, I another guy doesn't have. Does he have a beard? He has. The, oh, that's a good point. The, he has the thing up over. <laughs> well, he has the thing over his face. You can't really tell. You see, can you? You can't tell. Yeah. So yeah. you know, Steve A also says that the uh, the pauldron on, on this white cloak is very different. Yeah. Than on the other shot. Um, it's yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, and so. can you see if he has like a rank of any sort kind of hanging on it? It doesn't seem like the guy here does, but the other guy had like a um, what the other guy did have something, yeah. I mean, this guy looks like the, the guy back at 20 seconds looks like he does have a beard, possibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say because his face is covered again, which really makes it difficult. But I do, what, what do you think about the costume? It's different than season one. I love it. I love yeah, it I th- more. So. Yeah, I like it too. I don't know if it's this is like their desert outfit. <laughs> and this would like, also be like, like their, their, yeah. their combat. This could be like, you know, that's them out just on patrol, what they look like when they're relaxed, give or take. But this is when they go to war, what they look like. Yeah, and maybe those guys were like not soldiers. The ones in the first season, you know what I mean? Like they were like yeah. just traveling around. I don't know. And this they're is all like soldiers, a... but yeah, like I think like there. I wouldn't mind if it's like okay, we're going to war. We're going to wear armor, right? We're not just going to like wear ceremonial so clothing. The, sh- the shoulder, you know, the shoulder guard is very different too, right? This one's much more colorful, and I don't mean bright color, but it's got more colors into it. Whereas the other ones were just straight, like like gray steel. Or um, or white, right? Mm-hmm. That was in the first season. That's all we saw. We saw gray or white. Um, this one's got different colors in it. It's got like bronze and black, and it's kind of like a pattern on it, which kind of matches his uh, tunic. I don't know what the word is, the proper <laughs> word is for that, but um, definitely, definitely somewhat different. And then we go to this guy, the shot of the guy back at 49 seconds, and it's really hard to tell because he's moving kind of quickly. But I feel like I don't see that shoulder, like that high shoulder guard piece. Yeah, no. yeah it's not on all this there. one. Yeah, and, and this, what he has on, I feel like looks more, I don't know, the ones they wore in season one, I wasn't impressed with them. Like the quality of them, I don't know if that makes sense. But they they were very like white and clean, which like amazed me. Like, how do these guys travel, you know, the road and keep their clothes so white without like Clorox? 
or anything. Like, how do they keep their clothes so white? Like, <laughs> I'm seeing some. Uh, I can't tell if everyone thinks they're, they're this different white cloaks or the same white cloaks. You want to poll them on that and show them uh, those two images? All right, I'm let's do some... let's do a poll. I appreciate Matt walking us through. This is what you do on the show, guys. Like you interact (laughs) with the people in chat. Uh, (laughs) Uh, (laughs) So while we're doing that, I want to know the answer to the poll, man. I just want to know the answer to the poll. Uh, The um, (laughs) I I do want to talk about just something in general, not specific a specific shot or anything. But up until I would say Wednesday, um. One of the things that I that that was like surprisingly frustrating to me when I thought about season two is that I literally had no idea what Rand's storyline was going to be in the season. Mm-hmm. Like we had a general concept of things, but like I had no idea like what he would be doing episode to episode. And I still don't, but like this gives us a lot more. Like, okay, he's gonna be with L- Lana Moraine at some point during the season. He's going to be in probably carry in like there's a lot there's a lot more pieces that that fit in to like okay he's gonna have some sort of storyline where uh he's not you know he's i don't know wherever that that, that we've licked him in somehow right uh yeah. and now it's just a matter of how he gets to the end and what the end is which we still don't know but that's fine mm. Mm. all right i want to jump to 30 seconds for those of you listening we get this overhead pan shot um, in the desert fortress of some sort with some soldiers standing around in a circle. There's a man standing in the center, and there's also a man standing up ahead. Um, so I want to get your thoughts on who these who these two people are. Um, who are your guesses, Jen? Do you have any thoughts on this? So the this is I was trying to look at the like the sigil on the tents. Do we know what that is? That is the symbol we saw in leaked set photos for sure. Mm-hmm. And I think there were conversations about it being like Hawkwing sigil okay. possibly, but we really couldn't, I don't think anyone was really able to distinguish okay. what it necessarily was. So it's probably Sean Chin. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's got to be Turok there. Um, yeah, in the middle with the bald head. Yeah, with the strange uh so yeah so we know we know actor daniel francis is playing torok and daniel francis is a bald dark-skinned fellow yeah so this is uh, it's got to be torok right these are sean chin that's torok i it's think gotta he's, be Turok. he's yeah. got some weird costume on. it looks like he's got some sort of round band around his shoulders i don't know it's really yeah, weird yeah, he probably has a really really cool helmet to wear I think. Yeah. oh yeah he probably does um, but this guy uh, up ahead of him, or this person standing up at the top of the shot, who is that? Is that oh. is that an is that an actor, or is that like somebody like on the no, I, you know a crew member? So I'm going to give credit to the person whose comment you have up on uh, on Streamyard <laughs> right now um, in our Discord earlier today. He did an analysis and said that's the shoes of Pat and Finn. What? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He zoomed in. He said the shoes are a match, and, uh, and he thinks that that's Pat and Fate. All right, and... hold on. I got I got an image here. Let's see if we can zoom in right here. I know. I'm trying to zoom in on that. I'm. It doesn't look. I, like I mean, it could be I a love ch- a chufa on it, like you know, something over his head, maybe because there is something on a person's head. Yeah. Or it's uh, a crew member with the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> possible but like they're i feel like they're looking at that like all the guards are looking that way they do look like jeans um i will say that that's well I, they could be they could be slacks they could be narrow black slacks but yeah maybe and uh here's all the all right, going back to our poll, uh, 63% of the people say that it's not the same white cloak. Oh, wow. You are not the same white cloak, Maury says. <laughs> let's, All right. let's, see if, let's see if people think, is this Pad and Fane? See, if it's, I hear you have three options. Is it Fane? Is it someone else? In uh, Is it another cast member? 
or is it just some random person in the picture? So that's I'm right, dismissal you, uh, of the crew. Is it a crew uh, member? Let's be I'm going to try to give you another one that's maybe a little bit high, higher resolution of that one. Sure. That's going to take me maybe like a minute or so. My computer's like, <laughs> I keep on like exporting these large images while we're doing this, and it's like, <laughs> it's having it's having a time. I do think like the the shape, you know, the figure does look like Pat and Fane, and it would, you know, it, it jibes with the story, right? Fane going to, to Falman, you know, connecting with Torak. Definitely mixes in there. Oh, we've got somebody asking. Hold on a sec. Headski is asking a good question here. Let me see if I can put this on here. Um, do we have Soroth in the bottom left inside the circle? Ooh, there is a woman in the circle here. There is. I I, I unfortunately could not um, verify that. Like, it does seem like something's on this person's head, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Good question, Headski. I didn't. I didn't even notice that. It's definitely a woman inside the circle, um, or is that just like a, uh, uh, I don't Could know, Dakoval or? Yeah, right. Although Dakoval, don't they dress a little bit more uh, scandalously? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I like this being Fain, and I guess what are they all looking at is the question, and I, I'm I'm guessing it's the White Cloaks coming, maybe, or although it's a weird, this is kind of a weird formation to be in when you're getting attacked. Can you throw that version of the of maybe Fain up that I sent you? Okay, let's get this. Uh... Sorry, I'm exporting another image, so I can't even. I have to like wait until the export's done to jump back to what we're what you're showing on screen. Oh, there we go. Oh, it didn't, did it not save? Sorry. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, you called it crew member. Oh, you're pretty <laughs> good. No wonder why I couldn't, I didn't realize it. Crew member. Yeah. Those look like jeans is all I'm saying. Almost like. Uh... Yeah, they do look like jeans. That's a good point. That's a good shot of him. That could be like one of the like cameramen or something or somebody trying to get gauged like a good shot. So I will say, just while we're talking, Rara is doubling down on this. He's, <laughs> he's sent, I can't, I am not someone who can do this at the same time. He has sent pictures of close ups of Fane's legs and feet coming out of the way gate in season one that he thinks are very, very close matches to this. Okay. I'm gonna, same I'm gonna color shoes, same color pants. Well, Rara and I will have to, we're going to have a, uh, uh so there's those are, right. there's the tan shoes. All right, it's hard to see. You don't see his pants, unfortunately, in this shot because he's wearing that jacket. Yeah. Um. Those do look like blue jeans, though. I don't. Think that <laughs> I don't think they look like jeans, and I feel like that's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's tough. I, it's hard to say. Hard. Go to back say. to the wide shot. Go back to the wide shot. Let's just see, let's just see. Well, that, I just uh, want to the... say like where <laughs> the equipment is that's looking at these people, and see whether that character would be in camera or not. Right, so, so the, the camera is left here. The camera's actually aiming that way. Actually, so it's on the yeah. camera's on the bottom left, and it's aiming towards. Yeah, he's in shot. That's, the, a, that's an actor. Well, it could be also aiming towards the gate. Yeah, but either way, like that camera, if that's picking up the people that are in costume, you know, in formation, that guy's on it. Because if you look up at the top of the shot at about 29 seconds, right, there's the entrance to the fort and it's all smoky, like either, you know, reminiscent of the earlier shot that we saw of the white cloaks riding and then the guy with the fan who's fanning kind of like the fog at them. That's why I thought maybe this is like White Cl White Cloaks charging. Although this is like this is see, not. I don't see any fair. weapon on his back. On yeah. on on Fane's back? Oh no! On that? Oh, so that there is. I guess I was I was looking at that belt. That is a. It does look like it's a we There's a weapon. Torak looks like he has a sword hanging down on his well, left there's, side. There's right a there. sword. If you go look at the one I sent you, um, and then uh, zoom in to the one I sent you, I it I thought it looked like a normal kind of like leather. 
whatever you call it, like uh, strap over his shoulder. A bandolier. It does look like there's a sword there now. And oh, you're about this? You're yeah, about yeah, yeah, so zoom in on that, on his shoulder. I think that is a sword. So if that's a sword, mm -hmm. I would say yes, it probably is a... Um, but but Fane... I don't know. Fane wouldn't have a sword Fane on his now. back. Yeah, that's... Uh, seems like a weird Fane... Uh, but but it does look like slacks. It's so weird. But who would that be? I don't know. <laughs> who would be standing out in the front of a Sean Chan like that? Bell Doman? In a very non Sean Chan looking outfit. Right. Bell is Bell playing the same part he plays in, in the second book where he's kind of just the guy who, like, Torak is like making explain what. what and by the way, Fane being at the front of that, if someone's attacking. There's like zero chance Fat and Fane is also like, true. Just hanging out in the front, like uh, ready to pull his sword out and fight. There's like uh... this maybe is more of like a maybe there's a few white cloaks, like you know, the commanders coming up to meet and have a conversation, like a parlay kind of deal. Um, maybe yeah, maybe this is just yeah, Fane and exactly what you just said, Fane and Turok like meeting each other, and there's like some kind of a procession coming out with him. And then I sent you that one with the uh, what appears to be a woman there behind Turok. Um, it's not like going to give us too much more than we've probably already shown. But a woman behind Turok. I don't think I got that one. Uh, I thought I uploaded. Oh, maybe I didn't. Hold on a second. I exported it and did not. Uh, Sorry for all of you listening who are not getting all these pictures <laughs> that Matt that Matt's sending me. But <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 put them in the Discord, Joe. Uh, we put them in the, in the live chat so yeah, there you, you go. can listen to watch along. Uh... Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the same image, though, people. This is the woman we were talking about who's also in the circle yeah. um, that we didn't like, notice before. It doesn't look like anyone who be... Does this person have hair? Yeah, they definitely have hair, like... Matt. I would say they have hair. So, yeah, what I mean is like that's going to tell you something, you know, how much, which side of the head they have hair on. Uh, whether or not this is uh, a, a person of importance that you know, she definitely is not dressed as like you would think like one of the high blood would be dressed for sure. Maybe th would this be a maybe this was a soul dom? Mm -hmm. Good good chance this is a soul dom. Um, she's broad shouldered, I would say, a broad shouldered yeah. soul dom. <laughs> All right, ending our poll of who is this person, which we're talking about the person in the front there. 40% uh, said it's another character, 33% said it's Fane, and 26% said it's Crew. So clearly we're undecided. <laughs> yeah, get curious, why do we think this is a woman? Uh, I would just say because of the, uh, the costuming. That's yeah. my only guess. That, that was my initial impression, but it's possible it's not. Um, all of the other Sean Chen... Well, at least the soldiers are wearing pants. So, and well, this person not, is not. Wearing. Yeah, so that could be. Yeah, he's got right. he's got pants yeah. on. They're they're all wearing shorter skirted armor. She's wearing this person's wearing longer, like a long skirt. skirt yeah. yeah, a floor, you know, but, down to the ankles. Oh, cool! You can see actually. Oh, what's interesting is in the uh, in the shadow of her, you can see what's on top of the head a little bit better. <laughs> That's uh, weird. That's like oh. a halo going on there or something. Intriguing. That looks like it's floating above her head. Yeah. Look at by the way, look at this guy over here right next to her in his in his shadow. What's that hanging down between his legs? Easy champ. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's got kind of like antenna or something coming out of it. Everybody just went home, didn't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is usually the part where i'm listening to this while i'm you know cutting my lawn and i'm, laughing and I'm dying laughing <laughs> so, um, all right let's uh <laughs> let's move on to something else in this um all right so we got oh, you want to go to that one that i sent you uh with the because we haven't really answered this question it's hard to tell but the person on the the uh horse that is, oh, yeah, that there's is horse riding. riding. The, yeah. What, uh, trying to find the seconds that it, and it's such, oh, there it is. All right. So we're at 52 seconds. 
51 52 seconds we've got somebody riding on a horse mm. um in the dark forest and matt's got a picture here so the this. only thing i'm pointing out here is just that the costuming at the shoulders has a kind of edge to it mm -hmm. you can kind of see here but i zoomed in on um you know and so i don't know if we have if we basically the hoping that we'll get an, another image of something or we find some other place where maybe we see a costume that has that kind of effect at the shoulders so we've got a long-haired it's definitely a long-haired person for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. is um is this the same person who gets um knocked off the horse um well I, let's go back that horse oh this is a dark colored horse right the other horse is white so i don't think it's the same person that like 53 but that's not aldeb is it oh at, at back at um 53 like, seconds being more rain here is this more rain on the getting knocked off a horse getting knocked off the horse yeah Rafe did say that Rafe did say aldeb would be fine on Twitter, <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on in these in these shots. The ones of the cloaked rider, and then the you know what I think is a grave, and then this person getting thrown off the horse. You go back to the uh, thrown off the horse thing. Wait, I wanted to. Uh, All right, I thought the grave. I thought there was another grave like stone in that scene. So here we go. All right, we yeah. we got to get to the shot, but I'm calling. To, I'm going to the shot. Right, we're at fifty seconds. We got the merge roll nailed to the door. But on the left, this is this is Elias, right? Yes. On the left yeah. here. Matt, yeah. he's got the sharp shoulder and he's got that long hair. Could that have been oh, a yeah. Could that be mm. and I have to say this, when you did that close up, Joe, that hair did look kind of um braided. Kind of dread braided or dreaded, yeah. Sorry, I gotta close some of all these images I got going here. So here's the shot of, yeah. of oh, the, the 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 it the arms kind of kind of have a no what you call I guess it's kind of the same of what you might see here yeah the blousing it, it feels kind of like the it, that feels like a skirt on a dress on that versus that kind of effect that you see in his outfit so let's let's just uh bask in the glory of the shot right now <laughs> the merge roll nailed to the door. We've got some Shinarins. We've got, it looks like Perrin in this shot and Elias. This is the money shot. <laughs> right? You know you know who I'm surprised in watching this, and I didn't notice it the first time, but I noticed it the second time, is not in these shots that I thought would be. Loyal. Loyal? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I noticed that not, too. Not, not, and like, based on things that we've seen, it looks like he was kind of filming with Marcus. Right, based on like some like like they were they seem to be together on set sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um so I don't know if he's not in these shots because they didn't want to show like what he looks like on set. When we he's only like, have Loyal with the white cloaks and the Sean Chan. That's the only view we get of Loyal in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember. Yeah. So yeah, good question. I yeah, because there's an <laughs> earlier shot of the Shinarans and Perrin too, and you don't see Loyal there either. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, is so is one of these people? So there's a man like up right up against the fade or right up to the fade holding the sword up there. Is that Ingtar? You think or? Yes, yeah. I assumed it was. <laughs> <laughs> He's like in charge, right? He's supposed to be in charge. Ingtar is supposed to be in charge. I assumed it was him. Elias traveling with the Shinarans. Yeah, well, Heron, Ingtar. Uh, if we go we, back, we talked to... about Elias like as a like like he would fill the Huron role kind of for the Shadarans. He would be their tracker, right? Yeah. If we go back to twenty two seconds, we get that early shot of Perrin walking with Shinarans. I think that's Guy Roberts in the shot. Yeah. Uh, two two people to the right of Perrin, so it mm -hmm. looks like Uno is alive. Um, is this uh, one of these people, Masima? Um, the guy on the left here, maybe, or the one next to Perrin. Uh, I don't can't really tell from behind. 
but I assume he's there. I would say if he is there, he'd be the one behind. I don't think he'd be walking next to Perrin. Can we course can we correlate any of these people with the other shot? By the way, I'm totally like following up on different shots. Sorry. <laughs> like the, the Just horse, let us run for a little bit, Member. Uh, <laughs> Jen wants to get to the shirtless Daniel Henney practicing oh, sword yeah. play. <laughs> Yes. Part of the, the so very essential I just, that made it in. Just talking about this shot, the merge all nail to the door, right? We've, I think after season one and then seeing this, and then I think some of what Rafe said in his Q&A, Rafe has been talking about iconic scenes from the book, and he's been putting them in the show. Like, he knows, like, I have to put this shot in the show. I have to put this scene in the show. This is iconic. I'm going to put it in there no matter what, we're going to work it in there. So, I mean, I feel, I feel more and more comfortable after seeing this now that he's going to continue to fight. If people are pushing against these, these scenes that he's going to be like, no, these have to be in the show. Yeah, I yeah. agree no, with you. No question. I, <laughs> I think that, I think that like there's certain things that I think, people are in agreement are iconic and need to be in the show like this. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious as the series progresses, if everyone agrees about all the iconic things that need to be in, or frankly, I I'll say this, like I think some people think the fight in the sky, that the fact that it's in the sky at the end of the great hunt is really, really important. And some people think like, well, they don't need to do that. I'm curious as to, I really have no idea how the end of this is going to uh, be. If, if that's something that he feels like needs to be seen in the same way. Hmm. It's definitely an iconic moment to me, but it's also something that I feel is like the opposite of cinematic. I don't, I don't want to answer that you, question. You brought it up. <laughs> Fight in the sky? I didn't bring up the fight. You in the brought sky. up iconic scenes that they're all going to be in there. That's not an iconic scene. Like that's an, ico uh, it, that's it's an, an iconic. It's an iconic scene. It's not an iconic image. Moment. This is an image. It's an right? iconic. Yeah, it's an iconic moment. It's not an iconic scene. Like image. Yes, image. Yes. Right. So right. I all think right. there's a difference there because some things just won't translate well. To that was TV. my point. Yeah, yeah. So I agree uh, with you. Right. <laughs> Matt's sending me more stuff. Let's see. We're going back to the horse. <laughs> going back to the horse people. Well, uh, you know, I think we can get a, we can glean a little bit out of this. You know, uh, I so don't know what we can glean out of this. Thing off, right? They flipped off the. Is that ET? So, what is it? it looks like the horse has a three back legs they're, in they're, the shot. <laughs> their, their feet are off to the right. Right, they flipped backwards off of the horse. Yes. So their arm is down here. Yes, wearing, yes, yes, yes. So the outfit is like a dark pant of some sort with a maybe oh, like a light colored um, blouse. Yeah, with a light colored blouse, maybe right there. That's ooh, gonna ooh, 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 ooh. Mr. Carter, Mr. <laughs> Carter, light colored a dark skirt with light colored blouse. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Oh, hold on. Where is it? I'll find yeah, it. Yeah. I'll find it. <laughs> I have it here because I made a note of it because I thought it was interesting costuming. I got to get to it. Here we go. Boo. Oh, right there. Yeah, dark. Yeah, 30, dark skirt. 36 uh, seconds for you listening. Uh, Lana Maureen on the beach. Maureen is wearing a light black, uh, like a white blouse with a dark skirt. Ooh, um, I like it. This being more rain. See, what I'm trying to do is also confirm if you look at the horse here. So, I, the third image I sent you is a close up of what we see on the horse, like the leather, the leather work there. So, you would mm -hmm. think in season one, we would have seen a similar saddle and leather work on Aldeeb. So, we have kind of a, a white horse here. That's got to be so. Does anyone want to go look that up? There's like an image of Moraine on like the like a beach somewhere. I thought that they released on one of the top of the, one of the magazines. So, oh, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I'll find it. What mag? Okay, Tom. Thank you. I'm trying to remember what magazine it was. It was Entertainment Weekly, I think, but I'll find it. 
Yeah, like or a TV guide or something. Oh, no, TV, TV guide. No, it was a TV guide. Yeah, it was yeah. TV guide actually. Hold on a second. I'll so, oh, there she is. Oh, she's like you can't tell because like she's on the horse. That's not very helpful. Um, shoot. Oh, there is. There are the ones where she's. She's standing by the portal stone, and she's not on the horse. Oh. You actually, you actually got a kind of a shot of the face of the cloaked figure in this too, Matt. Ooh, yeah. I wonder if I could go in, yeah, and maybe uh, it looks like a, up more. It looks like it could be a man with a with facial hair. People listening to who are going to be listening to this on Monday are going to be like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" <laughs> I, need to, I need to verify that this is Al Deep. I, I swear that we've got to have like a season one side view of Al Deeb. Like I think when uh, when um, doesn't doesn't happen in episode three when Lan is with Nynaeve, I swear he's like standing at the horse. Uh, yeah, or, or uh, in yeah, yeah. Shadow Loyoth when like the horses run. Like yeah, there's got to be a, a shot. Like it seems like when she's standing at the portal stone. I just looked at one. Like there is some kind of leather. Back to that. Anyone? Anyone want to point us in the right direction for an image? There. Come on, everybody. There's like what? How many people are in chat right now? Somebody's gotta find one. I think there's a hundred or so, which is yep. blowing my mind right now. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneak. People, someone can find it for us. I'm gonna sneak my way into another uh, website and try to pull some other pictures. But right, ask everybody so... if they think that's Al Deeb in uh, chat. <laughs> so here's my here's my prediction on the cloaked figure. Right, uh, I think that they are not gonna. Maybe they're not gonna give away that uh, Ishi is Ishi. It's the same guy. For the oh my for, God. For, you might be able to see the face. That's what I'm talking about. Like it, it looks like you can kind of see the face. It looks like there's a beard there. It does. Know, look. I don't think there's a beard. And I bet that sword. You can also kind of match potentially. Okay, I've got I've got the Aldeeb image, but it, she's on it. She's on Aldeeb, so it's hard to. Um, here we yeah, go. It's tough. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah, we need we need one with like a side view where she's off of it to match the saddlebags. Um. All right, Matt. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys, we we all we all knew this was going to turn into an unblurring episode, right? <laughs> People are going to get very angry and turn this episode off when they're listening to it. <laughs> like he's pulling. By the way, everyone, I just pulled a, an image from. It's actually from the um, the Amazon website where they put all those episode screenshots. It, it is the TV Guide or whatever Entertainment Weekly shot of Maureen riding along the shores of the river on Aldeeb. Um, it's yeah, you can't because of her cloak, it's covering really the horses. Uh, you know what? Bar. Go back though, go back to the you want to go back to the look, 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 at the, oh, look at the front of her leg here. Like the side saddle of Aldib go is very long, it goes from like knee to ankle. Do we have the same thing here because that's unusual? I feel like. Oh, but the dark legs though on Aldi right now. Yeah, it does. It's got the it's yeah, got the black yeah, and white yeah. and together. I, You're right. Yeah, I think it's I think Ooh. it is. It's got the same oh thing. God. It's got that. This is Moraine. It's got that it, under the. Yeah, that's Moraine. Dude, that would be, be awesome if this was Moraine being attacked and not obviously Lan's not here. No, but who is that person? But you it's a decent shot. It it looks like it could be Emperor Palpatine, in my opinion. <laughs> so also, no, underneath Aldib's legs, I think that's the that's the funeral stone that you were talking about. And there's the broken yeah, rock. Oh yeah, it is, oh yeah, it's the stone. Yeah, this is the same scene. Uh -huh. It's the same shot. That's the gravestone. Yeah, it's definitely in the same scene for sure. Um, so what if close. Moraine right. runs up on this guy to like Put the whammy on him somehow, and <laughs> I don't like it. this person like flips him with channeling because it's a forsaken. Uh, okay, forsaken, Moraine, and but why would the forsaken be have a sword? Like, yeah, I want to ask this question because it's it's on my list of questions to ask, and this seems like a good time to ask it. Right? Are any of the scenes we got, any of the clips we got? Take place in Teleran Riyadh, you think? 
There was not one that I thought this is probably Taylor Rondia. There was not one. Yeah, I don't know. This um, could be though. I can't see anything right now. So I'm like, yes. I see image. <laughs> it's. I don't it's think also, this is Taylor on Riyadh. Well, again, if that's if that's issue, right? Maybe um, hiding his face because it's scarred from his first battle with Rand or whatever. Um, maybe she's haunt, like he's haunting her dreams. Like maybe this is a place that she's going to, and he's there, and like whatever it is, and you don't, you know that 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 could be because really, if she's not able to channel for most of the season, which I would imagine is, is likely the case, why would she just charge somebody like that? Like you know, what's she gonna do? I guess run her run him over with a horse, but like that's about it. But this uh, person swings a sword at the horse. So yeah, there's definitely a sword in there. Would that happen in Teleron Riyadh? Here's the per here's a close. Anything can happen in Teleron Riyadh. I mean, I, uh, it's if it's a Forsaken. This is Palpatine for sure. <laughs> but is that, is that somehow Palpatine that survived <laughs> the crossover? I've got a poll going still. Let's end this poll. <sighs> is this yes. Aldeeb? Eighty-two percent said yes. <laughs> That's I could do in this moment. <laughs> That's actually worse than the other shot, actually. I think the other shot's got a bit of a clearer. And uh, my computer's like working overtime. I couldn't do some, like, I need to do some blurring on that a bit. Like, ah. Uh, yeah, where are you, Matt? This is, I don't, is this your new home that you're at? Is that where you are right now? <laughs> Doesn't... I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at work right now. Oh. Oh, well, this, I wish this was work for me. Uh, <laughs> This is a, this is probably the most this whole this and the other shot that we get is probably the most intriguing to me of all the shots because I have no idea what this is or what this is from. This is off book one hundred percent. I think. Well, yeah. Basically everything, basically everything uh -huh. that you see with Moraine and Land is off book. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I just want to jump. We've got. Daniel Henney practicing his sword forms topless. Um, Doing some good lat work. Um, yeah. He, he's got his hand, one hand off the sword, though, which doesn't make doesn't seem like it's kosher to me with the books, but oh. I'll, I'll allow it. Oh, my gosh. There's a second shot of Loyal. In this trailer. Really? Where? Where's Wait, the... I, I don't see Loyal at all. So oh, where are hold the on. other ones? We, we want to see Loyal right here. Boom. Where? Uh, 44 seconds back left. There's a tall dude uh, it's with like, a nice... Where's Waldo? Yeah, Royal, nice... right at the end. Who are the guys the in the end. red? Are those the like the farm? Sean Chen. Those Sean Chen are Chen? red. Yes. If you look oh, at the, okay. if you watch the end of episode oh, eight, yeah. season one, the Sean Chen red is their color. Like they have the red sails. Okay. They, and like it's like red and bronze is kind of like the Sean Chen color. And even the soldiers have like red on. Okay. Oh yeah. So loyal's just chill it out. So 43 seconds in there's a it's a shot of like a, the hallway and there's fighting going on out in the open uh in the background and it looks like loyal's here on the back left um, okay. unless it's another ogier i doubt it it looks like he's it's weird the way his hair is right there though it almost looks like he's got a headband on like that's kind of like pushing in the middle of his hair and so it's poofing out the top So there's it, another scene later where they're fighting. It looks like the Shinarans are fighting the Shanchen then. In like yes. that dark scene. Okay. Yeah. So let's jump ahead to that. That's um. It's like right see. at the end. It's like one of those quick cuts. Yeah. yeah here right we go. Here. And got... then in the, and then if you keep going, it's like some people getting dragged away. Is that the same shot? Yeah. So we've got at 53 seconds for those who are listening. We've got a shot uh, in the nighttime. We've got Perrin standing towards the left. And it looks like Shinarans fighting... I can't. Yeah, there's definitely dead Shanchens in the foreground. Yeah. So I guess it's Shen Arons fighting Shan Chen. Like, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> nobody knows. Nobody's nobody knows this. Which one? Uh, sorry, I'm exporting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to get the loyal image that I just said. There's a second one of. It's like I need about like 20 seconds, and then I can see what you're showing. Uh-huh. Joe, can you zoom in on that? Um, Are those I, just bodies I, piled up? Do I have? Uh, let me see if I already have. Uh, I might already have this one saved as a picture. If not, I can. Uh, oh, here we go. I do have this one already. Okay. All right. This guy on the right here looks like this is this looks like Arnas Fedorovicius or Fedorovicius. Wait, who, with the with the the right uh, the guy on the right who's fighting is under the okay. Sean Chen. Okay. Oh, okay. This could be Masima right here fighting a Sean Chen. We've got a bunch of dead Sean Chen in the foreground here. We've got parents standing off to the yeah. left, just kind of watching shit happen. Yeah. And then, like you said, we have another shot of um, something. <laughs> Rajesh's comment is making me laugh. Oh, what did Rajesh say? I love these breakdowns, but I also don't want to figure it all out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, man. we can't help it. You, don't worry, Rajesh. You know we're totally wrong anyway, so <laughs> we're not even close with most of the stuff. Except oh. for the Rafe thing. That That's one. clearly Rafe. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's clearly Rafe. 53 seconds. Um, it looks like a similar scene to the one we mm-hmm. were just talking about. We see it's this, you know, nighttime again. It looks like fights going on. We've got Perrin in the foreground to the right. Looks oh, like that's being... Perrin. I didn't realize yeah. that was Perrin. Oh, yeah. That looks like Perrin being dragged. Yeah. And then behind him is somebody else. And okay, so I want to I want to bring up the picture I got of this one too, so we can zoom in. This is the person in white, right? There's somebody dragging, some big person dragging another person, and it looks like somebody is this is this Egwene? I can't see a face on that person. Well, no, you can't. I know that. <laughs> Why would you think it's Egwene? I because there's a shot of Egwene wearing a novice white dress earlier. <laughs> That's the only Where reason. The, like it's is... the guy's arm coming down, and then whoever's two arms like wrapped around his arm. And I guess the person's face is like behind his arm. I can try to work out like what I'm even looking. Yeah, at. yeah. So, okay. so the person is bent over, and the the big guy's got his right arm on the person's like neck or the you know the behind the neck, and then the person who's getting grabbed has like their two arm, like their two yeah. hands up behind their head. Like you think that is a? Uh, uh, you think that's a member of uh, was the Death Watch guards? Like that's a that's uh, a... a guard, an Ogier gardener. An old gear gardener. Uh, fuck yeah, that would be awesome. But how do you get Perrin and Egwene back together? I don't know. That's well, I mean, sure. Perrin's, Perrin's obviously showing up in these shots with the white cloaks and the Sean Cham. So Perrin, yeah. with his group of Shinarans, have made it to the to the end, right? They've made it to Falma. At least we assume where. At least I'm assuming right now where these guys are at. I mean, they're in sand, as you, like you see sand on the ground here, and you see a lot of fog and mist. So it obviously they've made it to the to the end, and that's why they're they're all in the same area. Whether or not they were getting the same treatment at the very end, right, where they go in and Egwene gets her gets away from Rena, but we do know Rena and Egwene's going to happen, yes. right? So, yeah, yeah, no, I want to I want to get to the Q and A, but there's I feel like there's still some more things in here that we didn't talk about. So oh yeah, yeah, totally. Um, um we got the merge all. Uh, by the way, yeah, I, I gave you that other shot of uh, loyal. Oh, oh, okay, we've got loyal popping up again. Oh, is this the Karen, very end shot? Yeah, this is... like Karen, loyal, and I can't tell if it's one of the Shinarans also to the right, which and it's probably Turok that's swinging that sword. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about like the very last shot here at about 53 seconds. There's somebody swinging us. It's a shine orange swinging a sword down. I think that's a, he looks like he's got something on his head though. It's hard to say. I think that's a, I think he's bald. I think that's Turok. I think there's like an ornament. He hasn't, there's an ornamentation to his uh, chest armor there. Mm-hmm. And his sleeves. And- I mean, could this be the battle? I mean, could this be Rand and Turok? Oh, and then your image. Yeah, that's Loyal right there on the back it's left. Perrin, it's Perrin right behind him. And then to the right, to the right of them, I kind of oh, wonder. Yeah. You can even see Loyal in this shot that I'm showing at yeah. the 53 yes. seconds. Yeah. He's like between the uh, the crew member and Torok or a possible Torok. You see 
loyal in the background there. That's 100% loyal. Nice. Nice. Good job. That's good, man. man. I, I also want to say I have the same hat as that crew member on the right. <laughs> um, hat? He's bald. What are you talking about? Oh, the right. guy down. Oh, the guy. Oh. Your oh, other right. Your <laughs> other right. <laughs> this guy's right from the. Uh, he's like. Oh, yeah, he came from OTB. He came from the OTB. Right to the set. Uh, <laughs> And by the way, so, we can't end without talking about uh, Lady Suroth or Aganon or Aganon or Lance. Yeah, there we it. go. I've got an actual better shot of this, uh, thanks to. Um... Oh, oh, oh! Hold on a sec. All right, I'll get to this in a second. Andrew from Whoa. Black Tower sent me some shots of Al Deeb. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. For confirmation. Of what's happening here? All right, all right. I'll do it. I'll bring it out now. Uh, hold on a sec. Thank you, Andrew. Hold on a second. Let me just get these saved. All right. Aldeeb. And then, oh my God, I got so many fucking things uh -huh. right now. Here we go. Oh, look at it. Oh, that, that red. It's kind of a reddish tinge to that. Yeah. Oh, that one to the right there. <laughs> oh, brown All right. I'm so sorry for the, those of you who are listening to this. <laughs> Go watch the YouTube live stream. <laughs> what else we got? Is that the is that the only one that you got, or is it? Um, no, there's another one. Hold on a sec. Let me get this one too. Uh... Oh, right at the beginning. Yeah, like the uh, beginning of first episode one. Is that what that was? Here we go. Ooh, I've already. Oh my god, where are we go? Oh yeah, here we go. Very, I oh, think that's like that bag. Yeah, that bag wow. on the back left looks the yeah, same. Yeah, the bag hanging yeah. down yeah. at the bottom. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Yep. Lock it up. Lock it up. <laughs> Good job, Andrew. Thank you nice so much. Job, Andrew, thank you. Uh, we've got it. All right, so this is Maureen. Full, and right, more we, we got the I mean, costuming. Unless, too, somebody right. else, unless somebody else is uh, riding. riding I'll leave. Leave. Yeah. yeah. All right. I wanted to pull up another picture that I have of um, a high resolution picture, courtesy of Gihieri. Um, Thank you all, all of you who are sending me images while we're doing this. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, <laughs> high resolution shot oh, wow. of this. Wow. How good is this? I wish I was trying to download the high res, the 4K version off of ING, but you can't. Um, so unfortunately, but this is a high res version. That's Karima McAdams for sure. Yeah, I think I so too. It's kind of weird how much how, how it looks. Still looks a little bit like Leia Costa though. Yeah, no, it, it, I've done a like I said the lips. Yeah. It's... Yeah, the lips are really like. But mm -hmm. who is Specific. playing? You know, so I this is these are the theories that I've heard so far. This is a second age version of Lanfear in some costume. Like they're doing like some kind of um, like a, you can imagine like a second age cold open um, ahead of an introduction to actual uh, Lanfear, just a, a Mirren introduction. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering why she would be wearing why Mirren would wear this. You mean in the second age? This I'm is her. Sure. This is her research yeah. uniform. When she, yeah, like, when she was she really drilling, trying, at, when she was drilling at the bore, this was a protective. That was the problem. She Actually. drilled in the wrong spot because she couldn't <laughs> see what she was doing. I would, I would imagine it'd be some type of fashion thing. She was known to be one of the most beautiful women of the second age. So, so why would she want to cover up her face? I feel like she would you wear this. Her, like, you can see her entire face there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is. So uh, that's, that was one of, the, one of the other ideas with Lady Suroth, but. Uh, maybe I guess Lady Suroth and Aganin was was another option here. Yeah, uh, like, the lab, like, like helmets. Uh, but Kareem and McAdams uh, as Aganin, maybe they're going like giving us that relationship between she and Bale. Uh, uh, it's mm. how old is Kareem and McAdams? She's like forty-ish. Really? Yeah, she's around our age. Yeah. So she's all right. This could be anybody, really. Uh, this could be Sue Roth. That's true. Um, yeah, this could be uh, this could be a true speaker. That's possible. I saw that in the chat. Yeah. Maybe. This is like, 
I, I'm like, um, this, is, yeah. this is La Costa. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Got, I've, got too many, that, I've got too many things open here. <laughs> I think um, the girl on the, in the show has blue eyes. If I could see them through the screen. Bikieri has a... Hold on. Oh, they look a little... Yeah, look at her left eye. It's like blue. Bikieri pulled the... Uh... Pulled the the uh, uh, fade in. I love it. I think. Uh, did you see that? Oh, her tweet. Her tweet. Yeah, you gotta go check that one out. Oh my god! All right, Kiki, are you awesome? I'm put. I'm yeah, as, a, as, a, as a tweet. Here we go. What? Oh, okay. I thought it was like <laughs> she. Kiki oh found the right turn of the of the head there on that image. Oh, that's her. Yeah, oh, my like, God. Oh, yeah. my God. It's exact. <laughs> that's her. <laughs> nice job, Vicky. See how her eye, yeah, her eye is light. It's definitely her. Wow. Good job, Geekyary. I'll try to, if I remember, I'll link to that tweet. <laughs> oh, my God. Her eyes are like. Insane. Her eyes and do look at like. The a, lips are like. The not lips. even changing. Not the even lips changing. are exactly the same. Look like the ear thing I did with Michael McElhead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's Let's look lip. at her ear. Let's look at her ear for old time's sake. Oh, well, you, you know, like it. ear identi <laughs> right? Ear identification is like really, it's like a fingerprint, yeah. they say. Like you can, it's just as good as a fingerprint. No no two people have the same ear. All, the, the, the key to these is always finding the exact pose. Yeah. And, uh, her nostril is like not even moving either. If you look at her nose, like. Thank you so much, Kikiri, for this. Wow. You probably could take her face right here and then undo like all of the gold that's over. <laughs> and uh... I love yeah, how like Rafe's probably like they can't unblur this. No, <laughs> <if you> look, <laughs> legitimately fades back and forth into the actress's face. If you look at it, you know, but just, honestly, you, I think they did that. They were looking at frame by frame, obviously. Like they know we're doing this stuff now. And yeah. The reason why you know that is for sure is the last the frame of the horse and someone falling off of it. They made sure that they gave us two frames where that's totally blurry. Yeah. And so you go look at those frames, and that person you cannot see who that person is falling off the horse because the image of them is so blurred. They probably I wouldn't be surprised if they intentionally yeah yeah intentionally affected those uh, to make that harder. Because, yeah, you go frame by frame, you can't get a non-blurred version of the person falling off. So they definitely wanted to keep that secret. Although Aldeeb seems pretty obvious. So, And the, we got the we got the earlier shot of Maureen in the white blouse with the dark skirt. Yeah. Which but, appears but, to be similar to that. Yeah, it could be similar. It could be, the, it could be, but they also could be, you know, leading us to believe that that's, I mean, someone else could have taken Aldeeb. You know, it's very possible. All right. Um, is there any, oh, is there any other shots in here that we wanted to talk about before we, Go on, move on to the. Q we'll quickly go through the Q and A, I guess. I mean, you have that Pat and Payne shot where he's kind of like, it looks like he's like pissed off. Yeah. Oh, there's well, we've got Elaine, uh, Egwene in the tower yeah. with the novice white on. I mean, there's not. What much she got to in say. her pouch? She's Bowl got the winds. She's, uh, in there. <laughs> it looks like she's doing. Uh, she's doing. She's got an apron on, so it looks like she's doing like novice chores. So. She's probably bringing stuff to the kitchens or something like that. It looks like she's got a bucket in front of her or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot about this shot here. <laughs> 41 seconds. We've got this round tower with people standing on it. Yeah. Um, sure do. <sighs> people standing <laughs> on the tower. Um, I don't know. This is tough to say. People were pointing out that the two women in the front were dressed similar. Could they be Damane? Um, I did some, I went back to the episode eight at the end, but the Damane wore brown, uh, I'm sorry, gray dresses. The Soldam wore blue dresses. Yeah, I did. I think those are Soldam. I did a close up on this. The, there's a person in the brown behind the one on the, on the right. Looks like she's wearing a jacket, maybe because it's cold, and it has, I think, a blue dress on underneath. So I don't think that this is an actual setup shot of Soldam and Damani necessarily. Um, I think it very well could just be that, like, it's just like you, it's like a shot, and they're getting ready maybe for something. But yeah, um, and of course, I 
started exporting something accidentally, so I can't even. Well, yeah, I think I did. If you did, if you take that shot and do a close up, uh, that like I said, the person in the brown jacket. Yeah. That guy yeah. was the have... Flash on the right. Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> you know who this person? So you know Surprise. who this person in the in the brown in the brown kind of looks like Natasha O'Keefe. I was thinking the same thing, and I don't understand how. Yeah, that was literally, so a blur in space. It's literally like it's blur. The hair. I don't know what it is. And I'm like, that's <laughs> Natasha O'Keefe. But as soon as she zoomed in, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like her. One hundred percent. That's Natasha O'Keefe. <laughs> uh, that is. This, that, I hope it it's looks not. Like Leaf that Garrett. Not I don't know. Playing you... Elida. <laughs> so she's standing on this tower. She's probably not playing Elida. No, no. Right. But seriously, these two women in the blue dresses. If you go back to episode, the end of episode eight, and you even notice, like the top half has got the dark. Uh, covering over it, it's exactly what the Saldam wore. So I think these so, two women in blue are Saldam. I, I'm I, you, I think I'm giving three women, but I'll try to prove that here in just a second. What I was trying to see and I couldn't tell is were any of the women in this shot uh, the leader of the Blue Aja from season one? Oh, Megden. Oh, right? Megden, who I believe you will see uh, as a broken. I she agree. had Demani. short hair when we last saw her. I, I was hoping I was hoping I can prove that out, but you can't. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't so. tell. This is Natasha O'Keefe, by the way. That's. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna try to get a close up here. It's gonna take like another minute. And that's enhancing using this enhanced <laughs> technology to get this shot at 41 yeah. seconds for those of you listening. Oh, I, well, this the the close up that I have of this is going to kill you all because it's actually very clear. <laughs> oh wow! Like, it's going to drive you nuts on how clear it is because it's like, why can't we zoom in and get something that clear? I think it's just because of the light of day on this shot. Um, but yeah, you can actually see their faces pretty clearly. Uh, it'll make you feel like it actually is <laughs> Natasha. <Okay. laughs> I just didn't zoom in on it. I was like, oh, oh well, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is, but uh, sorry, I know I'm saying this. There's still like a minute out from seeing this, everybody. But. That's okay. I'm I'm excited about. Oh, we got. I'm just pulling up things. Oh, J, oh, Jane's. Uh, I can't pronounce that name. Uh, wants Listen. to send me a 4K. Okay, how is Jane's going to send me the 4K? Is he sending it via Twitter or Discord? <laughs> I have to go to Twitter. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Go to Twitter. I don't know. I'm exporting this one right now, but it's going to be another 30 seconds. Um, by the way, just like talking uh, about Natasha O'Keefe, you know, I I just watched the newest season of um, Peaky Blinders, and she's really good. Like, I'm very excited to see. She can do – when I was watching it, I got – very much I got Elida vibes from her. Like, I think she could do a really good Elida – um, and that's who I'm going to hope that she's playing because I think she's going to do a killer job at it. She's a really good actress and she really killed it in this last season. So oh, I um, wonder if these two, by the way, the Saldam are the ones that were on the ship. You One of the faces the reminds me of that. Oh. Like that's why I'm like, why do I think this is familiar? Um, so yeah, I, I know I'm keep on saying this. I'm still it's exporting everybody. Like this All right. Here, here it so, is. Can oh. we? This is, all right, you got it. All right. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry, Sorry, I wanted man. to bring up another question that Rafe answered. We forgot about this. Get too. your thoughts were on it. This so was going to kill you. Up. You can oh. actually see their faces here. Um, all right, all right. I think I got. I heard something come in. Oh wow, this is clear, Matt. I told you, it's like strangely, <laughs> very, very clear. All right, hold on one second. Oh wow, you're right. It does look like the original uh sold. Like the one on the right I thought was familiar. So you see how the one in the in the brown jacket that looks like there's also a blue dress on, same kind of neck line. Yeah, she's not that's definitely her. The one her left also, I wonder, um, has kind of a scarf and a white uh shawl, but I I would not be surprised if there's a blue. I would not be surprised if all four of these are sold. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, it's it. They seem so much in Demane position though, like the way their hands are like folded down below them, like they're very subservient kind of body language. They do, but I think they're. If you look at like that image, if you go back and like look at the original, I think they're just up on the. They're just waiting. 
Why do you have a tower with a bunch of soldiers around? The blue red there. So I don't know that they're really in position per se. But yeah, this is like some sort of watch to. Yeah, or maybe it's a training. Maybe it's a training exercise. And there is not any four. Um, <laughs> there's not any blood on. I mean, not blood. Uh, paint on their faces. That's uh, true. So oh, you're right. Something that's on the um, ship. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe they only wear that when they're coming in, like to take over a place to be like more intimidating. Oh, intimidation tactics. Yeah. I like that. Oh, J it says put your ball gags in. We're pulling I, I, up. Jason said that Lauren put all the 4K images on a Google Drive, mm -hmm. and it's on Twitter. I yeah, I would uh, answer that question about ball gags. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the. Like, <laughs> He didn't see any ball. Well, maybe they were never written, exactly noticed that they look like gags. ball gags. I would love to go through those the 4K images, but it'd probably take me forever because there's literally like a thousand images to go through. So just one more. I think this is the last thing before we stop talking about this. Maybe um, the the one shot at 47. There's three men with spears. Look like it looks like they're in the White Tower. It, to me, this is like the water grounds, and they're training. Um. Any thoughts, Jen, on who these three people could be or who you think they could be? Matt, <laughs> on, the, on the right, does it look like him? I think. On the far right? Sorry. On the far right, yeah. No, that's, no, that's Karina not, McAdams. That's, that's Karina that McAdams. Not look like that. Sorry. On the right, I don't know. To me, that could be Donald Finn. Um, I don't know about the other two, or they could just be like three warders training. You don't think. Shot. This is one of these Gowan. is Gowan on the pod. I would say the left might be Gowan, and I don't know about the middle guy. I guess it could be, but this isn't a fight. No, it's like a synchronized training. Like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, they, like in the book, not that this is the book, but they were all fighting each other. They weren't. They were like sparring. Well, remember we, we saw them like doing a practice. And the one on the left training. is wearing, you know, pants. Could this be the guy that's standing in front of the Sean Chan? They're all wearing pants, Matt. Oh no, like, his, his, his pants are like a, a tighter pants than the other pants over there. And uh, his boot, I think the boot you could actually probably match here for the guy that's standing in front of the Sean Chan in that one spot. Like, get out of here. Come on, <laughs> man. You're way got, off. I feel like he's got another photo coming for us <laughs> any second now. Boots, a uh, boots photo. This, you know, we got that um that um audition script, right? Of Gowan talking with um men no maxim right maxim. so we think <laughs> well we think it was maxim right yeah. we're not sure it could have been yvonne you know one of these could be maxim one of these could be gowan that's not no who's none of these are maxim yeah none of them do look like maxim to me <laughs> to me it's weird that they're practicing in like these they look like very formal outfits that they're practicing there's like this isn't what I, if i was going to train <laughs> That day, I would not be wearing these outfits. Would you wear like a like a tank top, wet pants? What <laughs> I'd are you going to wear? I would put on my Under Armour shirt and <laughs> some moisture wicking. This is what fabrics. they wear. They wear these clothes. I would, I would go for the moisture wicking fabrics. <laughs> like they're wearing long sleeve shirts. Like, do you have a short sleeve? Look how Land practices his sword, and look it's how these land. people are practicing. That's all I'm saying. Maybe they're. Too scared. Maybe they're to body get, conscious. Too they nervous don't, they, to take their shirts off in front of each other. Yeah. Lands by himself. These are like a bunch of guys. Maybe they're they skip they're, tricep day, and they don't want to take their. <laughs> Matt's definitely the got. He's very skinny right now. He's not doing <laughs> too tricep. well, so probably very self conscious about his body. I don't know. I just wouldn't wear long sleeve. I, mean, I guess it could be winter. Well, they look like they're inside though. <laughs> yeah. I think Omar posted like this is the set for the hall of the tower, and they just like threw a bunch of sand on the floor. <laughs> it does look. It does look like this. I mean, it's like very the tower, you can clean it up easily, right? I feel bad for the guy who has to go in and vacuum it when they have to do this tower back. Go back to the hall of the tower. There's just people in there, like either sweeping or sweeping it up. vacuuming. Maybe like you know, like when it snows at a football game and the guys are walking across the lines with the shovels, getting the snow out. There's just. People going in with shovels, <laughs> scooping all the all the sand out. That's it. You, maybe it's like a, like a sand, maybe it's like a hockey game versus like a basketball game where they just put the boards put the out over, over where the, the ice. Yeah. Oh, that's that's smart. They just put boards over the top. I like that. The floor goes down. 
Doesn't like the that. ice go over the floor? Somebody told me that once. No, I no, no, it was no, crazy. no, But then no, I believed no. it. The ice uh, is underneath. Uh, right. By the way, don't be surprised if my computer like shuts down completely. <laughs> oh, well, your, 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 your video looks right like now. it's frozen right now. So yeah, yeah, it might be. I might be gone. Too much, too uh. much unblurring. <laughs> too much unblurring. <laughs> what happens when Matt tries to unblur his machine like, shut down? Uh, Firefox, for some reason, Firefox is holding on to a lot of, uh, like, almost like 100 gigs. Oh, Firefox. I got rid of Firefox because it uses too much memory. Um, I, I don't use it anymore. This is, no, this is more like an Amazon DDS attack. Oh, and we've oh, lost no. them. They've, they've attacked, they've attacked oh, Matt, Matt. Shut them down. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, is there any other thing? Oh, my God. It's, it's all right. We'll go through the Q and A as quickly as we can. Quick, quick, quick. Are there, are there any other things it's about the video no, that no. you wanted to talk about? We'll, no, we'll talk about okay. them next week if we have anything else. Okay, okay. Let's bring. I'm going to bring up the Q and A. Thank you, Watt Series, for putting it all together in a nice, neat format for us, so I didn't have to scroll through Twitter because that is a nightmare. Just um, read the good ones. I'm going to have to read all of them to get to the good ones. Come so on. at Jared McNeil three asks, can you tell us how much you will be expanding on the Forsaken in this season? Rafe responded, it's a big point of difference from the books in season two. We will spend more time with any Forsaken who's in this show, more how the latter books treat the Forsaken than necessarily books two or three did. Cool. Yay? Yay? Yes. More for more time with the Forsaken? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're this getting goes people to my saying, theory that the... Uh, do it next week. Oh, people want us to do it next People oh, want to see the Q and A. Just, just. Oh, Dana. but it'll be old hat by next week. No, should we go? Th- fine, should we do fine. the Q and A next week? There's a lot yeah, to go through it, here. There's a lot of questions here. Yeah, we can really. We could. It's a whole other episode. All right, so let's not go through this. All right, all right. All right. Let's. I'll delete all. The, I'll delete this out of the video. No, are, are there Jeremy any other? Fell three was the only one going to shout out. Are there any uh, other things in the video that you guys wanted <laughs> to talk about? Please stop. Please stop. Um, no. We oh. Can- there is a. I have a question. There's an earlier shot of Pat and Fane over here at 39 seconds. Um, yeah. Do you have any ideas of where he is? I, I, people initially said Faldara, but I went back to the episode seven and eight, and this is not the Faldara set at all. Could this be Falma? But I don't it know could. where. It looks a little fancy. No, or uh, at the very end, maybe it's uh, what is it called? The Fortress of the Light. Is that what it's called? This is not very no. Fortress of the Lighty. I don't know. No, it looks the Fortress like of the Light fancy, is where the... though. Where the Children of the it... Light live. Doesn't he go there? At... Yeah, yeah, but that's the, like, he goes but it there doesn't... in book it does... five? Oh, four? after the two, after Shadow yeah. uh, after the two Rivers. After three he goes or there. four, I think he's uh, he's yeah. there. Yeah, doesn't he go there before he goes after Perrin? Yes, it's right after the Great. It's the, okay. it's either book three or four, I think. Right. Oh, it's, but this yeah, doesn't. Book three, then. Yeah, because he sends them. Yeah. It like might be in the, the prologue ones. or something yeah. too. Um, I don't get very sh- fortress of the light, or fortress of light. Um, Zoom in on that window. Oh, do I have? Let me see if I have a shot of this. Hold on <laughs> one second. I've what already do, saved what, one. What do you get, Joe? What do I get? I don't. You I don't know what don't. I get. Let's see. It, this, oh, here we go. It could be the stone, kind of, but mm, yeah, it's not gonna. Why be would Fane there. be there? I'm not saying I mean, it's the stone. It could be like it could be where Turok is staying. I guess in Falma, yeah, like a yeah. palace in Falma. I mean, it looks yeah, it looks fancier than what I imagined it to look like. But I checked I mean, like the White Tower set. It didn't look like the White Tower. It didn't look like um, Faldara. So we think you're thinking Falma. What is what is our esteemed uh, viewership think that this is? I don't know. Ooh, Dark Friend Social, I hear. I Ooh, see. Tarvalon. I like that. Ray are saying Tarvalon Bar- to get the dagger. Bar- I looked at the Tarvalon mm-hmm. set. Um, well, I looked yeah, at like the a flashback, I guess. Well, I looked at the I looked at the White Tower set. This is not the White Tower. It didn't okay. match anything in the White Tower. There's not enough circles for it to be the White Tower. <laughs> never Buff says fall makes sense. He never bluffs. So you know he says dark friend social is this are we in a dream shard is this a, is this our teller and riad scene is this a dream shard Bane is the dark friend social he's at the dark friend social is he's he going. in the book at the dark friend social no no he's he's not in the book no he's uh 
in prison at that time. Right, that's true. Yeah. That stupid book, Fane. Show Fane would never be imprisoned like that. No. <laughs> he's too smart. Hey. Oh, oh he's back? He's not... Oh, here no, he, he is. Made it back. Hey. <laughs> Matt, we're not even going to go into the Q&A because I, I think it'll take us like another hour to get through it. So. <laughs> you know, right? The one thing I, I want to bring this one piece up from the Q&A, though, which is when okay. Rafe... Didn't Rafe say something like um, season three is where he's like, we can... like. That's where we're gonna like pull it all together. I don't know. Like he, uh, he said he wanted to it. focus in season three. He wanted to focus on the Shadow Rising. No, but I yeah, think he like, also said like, because I think someone asked about how like everyone's a lot more separated than they are, like in the books. Oh, okay, yeah. And he yeah. said, yeah, but like we're gonna get it all back in in line for season three for the Shadow Rising. Yeah. This is something like Matt's Matt. He thought was the most divergent. Like mm -hmm. plot line yeah. or something, but he's trying. They're trying to get him back to where he was at for the shadow for like season three. So it's interesting that like it feels like they've targeted this idea of like season three is where you like they they're gonna bring it all, and that's where you they uh, have a cohesive, you know, or or more, more familiarity to the kind of maybe what we're expecting. I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know how I take it. Yeah, which is interesting because I feel like one of the questions I have is one is tier in this season right how do they get there um and like or are they moving the red frame doorways to farm and just having like nobility there that Rand interacts with like i'm very curious as to um how not necessarily how you end season two but how you start season three so there is, I'll, I guess I'll point out one question because we kind of hinted at it just by uh, talking about it. Let me let me share again. So there is this question that uh, at Crows92 asked, will we see more than one of these cities in t in season two? Kyrie Ann, Tyr, and Falm. And Rafe said yes. So we will see more than one of those. So we know we're going to see Falm, right? That's a given. So he didn't mm -hmm. say... He didn't say we're not going to get all three, yeah. so it's possible we get all three. Um, so, but if it was two, let's just say it's limited to two. What would you think the second city we would get would be? Kyrian. 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 But yeah, I would have said that. Although I like the idea that I'm now liking the idea that like they mix in tier a bit um, as the Kyrian of of season two. Like, I think mm -hmm. you can do it. I think you can mm -hmm. take them to tier instead of taking them to Kyrian, but do the things that happen in Kyrian in tier. Like, I think you could do that. Um, the way gate is what's kind of throwing me. Like, why would you have way gates with palm trees? Like, you have a way gate that we've seen in, like, the sand somewhere. The beach. It was right so on that the would, beach. That right? seems to make more sense that it's going to be out near Falma. Right. And so you have another way gate that you're showing us. Why would you show us one of palm trees if it was like Kyrian? That like doesn't really yeah. make sense to me. It doesn't like fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, tier seems more like of that type of landscape. Yeah, I feel like you could you could sell that for tier better than you gonna sell it for uh, for Kyrian. I just feel like with Barthanis now possibly Moraine is with Rand. I I thought maybe Barthanis was like a in Moraine's storyline. But now if they're all together, I just feel like how do you I feel like Barthanis has to be in Kyrian now. Now I'm back on the like putting Barthanis in Kyrie. I don't know if they're gonna have the whole party and the whole manor scene the same, but I feel like with Moraine and Lamb meeting back up with Rand, that makes me think that they're gonna be in Kyrian to see Barthanis. Yeah. We didn't get any shadow spawn, or at least we don't think we saw any shadow spawn in any of these yeah. shots. I um, still think that, that close figure could be a fade. And the the that protuberance on the face is just the like the um Could like the cloak the, the hood. No, or like just digital masking to like to, to put the fade face on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they could be like not finished with the well yeah. Like that's any behind of the, the scenes footage. Spawn. Right. Right. Like yeah, that's, they don't want to show it to us. Because then people complain about how it doesn't look good. 
Yeah. Even though it's not at all finished, but you know, it's not even take the footage wasn't even taken by the actual cameras that were filming right. the show. The Trollocs don't even look like Trollocs. What are they? Which, doing? By the way, I, I realized something just now. I only have four hours to order all the mugs I owe people. <laughs> so, oh, no. I did actually have to let y'all go. I was like, I'm going to order mugs while I'm doing the show, and that was not actually <laughs> happening. No, no, you spent <laughs> a lot of time sending me pictures. <laughs> but, but thank, you, thank you for having me here. I got to go. Like I've I've told people like for three or four months, I'm going to wait for a sale, and there's like a fifty oh, percent off sale right now. So for my wallet, it makes sense that I spend the next three or four hours buying mugs. Buying mugs. So if you're if you're actually in chat right now, and I owe you a mug, like legitimately owe you a mug make sure just to remind me just you know it won't hurt because i won't have any time after tonight to like follow up with you if i did so thank you for having me thank you for doing this this was a lot of fun you had a you had a, you, had a, you, had a, you have a good crowd here tonight man yeah we did yeah, uh, thanks i think we're riding the wave of excitement from yesterday so <laughs> yeah i think yeah. that was a that was a good that was a good idea to do a live stream yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I thought of it. Yeah. Sure <laughs> no, but thank you Thanks for having for me on. on. It, was, it was fun to like get to talk about it, not being the person running the show. Is that mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Although you were still doing a lot of work, but there. <laughs> <laughs> Do this poll, guys. Do this you couldn't poll. Help, you couldn't help yourself, but that's okay. I get it. I get so, it. Matt. Thanks for. Yeah, thanks yeah. For at the on. beginning of every show I'm on, I'm always like, poll. Um, so uh, yeah, but Wednesday we will be doing uh, more of this. Uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Jen on, who was at, who went to actually to uh, San Diego Comic Con. Oh, okay. oh, okay. beyond, oh awesome! We'll be talking more kind of theories, kind of collecting all the theories that are out there, seeing what we believe is the case. And uh, unless people are by like next Tuesday, are like totally tired of it. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, we yeah. didn't even get to the Q and A yet, so that's <laughs> what we're gonna be talking about next week. We might as well spread this out and enjoy it and okay. stretch it. So. Well, thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, right. You know, Thanks tonight everyone in chat is, is a blast. See you all next week. Yeah. It's always See great you having you on. Good night, have a good night. Yeah, bye. Bye. Uh, I miss him. Oh, uh, already. It's Al, Al-Deeb. Yeah, there's Al-Deeb. There he is. I got the Eye of the World see. cover going in the background. I can't oh, do it. Good, Backwards. Good, good, good horse. Good, see. good nice horse. horse. All right. Um, <laughs> I think it's about time, Joe. <laughs> Should we wrap this up? Is there any last things you wanted to bring up before we do wrap it up? Um, two, you mentioned two hours it, talking about this, this video footage. Is that enough? You, I think you mentioned it early on. I just want to echo it, close it out with this, right? Um, I cannot believe how this one minute of footage and then this Q&A that followed completely and totally energized me in being psyched for whenever season two of this show hits. Mm -hmm. um, this is, we mentioned at the beginning, our 150th official episode, right? We've done, we've released more than that because we released some unofficial ones as well. But yeah, <laughs> like, um, and I'm as excited as I was. I, I was thinking this morning about like the first two or three of these that we recorded and like the nervousness that we had doing it, like the nervous excitement we had doing it. And I felt the same thing tight. So uh, yeah, I think this is great. So, yeah, what Tom said. <laughs> Top that, Jen. I was. I just have to say how happy I was because season three got picked up. Not yeah. only does it mean we're getting three seasons of the Wheel of Time, but it means our show gets to what? Two more years of. Oh, of two. Talk okay, there's in two seasons. Yes, many more years of talk around Riyadh. This guarantees two more years. Years I'm always worried Riyadh. that the show's going to get canceled then we're going to be like That's uh -oh. that's we're assuming done. we're done yeah, here. It depends on how much time in between seasons. Right. But, so there could be years I'm and years that, we're not going anywhere. I'm thinking about two more years of this. So you guys strap in. We're here for at least another two years. At least another 300 so, uh, Henny says Henny we'll said seven more years. Okay. Oh, that's wow. what, that's Hedy says seven more so we're years. Gonna be, we're gonna be turning fifty doing this show. Aren't we? I'm yeah. fifty. <laughs> I can kick and punch, punch and, and kick. kick. <laughs> I'm fifty. Okay, let's uh, wrap it up here. I want to remind everyone to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Join us over in Discord to continue the conversation there. Rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts and check out our merchandise and Patreon pages so you can support us that way. Links to all the aforementioned information will be included in the show notes to this episode. We will be releasing this as a podcast. I apologize now 
and again, for the, for the for all the images Matt sent me that we referred to that you kind of didn't know what the hell we were talking about, I will try my best to put them somewhere. Maybe I'll put them in a shared drive or something. It still probably won't help that much, but uh, just go to the YouTube live stream. I'll put the link in the show notes as well, so you can just watch the live stream and then uh, follow along there. So, any last words before I wrap this up? I already gave my last words. See, yeah, we gave our last words. You, thanks, you know, everyone. You guys... Okay. I was going to say thanks, everyone, for listening and watching, watching. And watching. And you'll see us. Well, maybe you won't see us next time. You'll definitely hear us next time.